Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I'm here to talk to you about a new purchase that I'm super excited about. For those of you that don't know, I have three Yorkshire Terriers. Um, one is sleeping right here. I'll just pick him up though, he doesn't mind. This is Alfie. Poppy is just about, come on Poppy. Poppy's just coming up the stairs. So here's Poppy as well. And then I've got Lola. She's kind of like behind me on the couch. And I also have a Siberian cat and he sheds so much hair, which brings me to my new purchase. So I've been vacuuming the house every single day and I have a really nice Miele vacuum, but just like lugging the big vacuum out and taking it around the entire house takes so long, which is why I bought a Eufy G30 robot vacuum. I'm gonna show you guys the size of this thing. So there is my Eufy G30. So I bought this dog hair robot vacuum because I just wanted something that I could turn on in the morning that was going to pick up the dog hair and the cat hair. And obviously Yorkies don't shed a lot, but they still do lose some of their hair. I lose my really long hair. And my husband and I also own this condo that you see me sitting in, and it's an older condo, so there's always a lot of dust, and it seems like even though we take our shoes off, there's a lot to pick up every single day. So I really wasn't sure about getting a robot vacuum cleaner because I wanted something that was not going to frighten the dogs forever. I will say that we had a bit of a rocky start, and I'm going to include a little bit of footage now for you guys to see what it looked like. Um, but I have actually had the vacuum for about a month now, and at this point, they really don't notice it when it's going. I mean, they're aware of it, but they're not freaking out, and they're not constantly barking. So the first few days took a little bit of acclimating and getting used to, but now that we've used it for quite a while, they do not mind it. I wanted to make sure to get the best robot vacuum for pet hair, and I have been really happy with this one. I find it very, very easy to empty. There's an app so I can see exactly where it's gone. Um, it's quiet, it's about, about as loud as a microwave, I would say, and it picks up a lot. So there's always a lot of cat litter because as the cat leaves the litter box, he tracks a lot of litter around. Um, and basically every time we turn this vacuum on, which is every single morning, it is amazing how much it picks up. Um, it's also slim enough that it fits under our bed and it just gets so much stuff that would be moving around in the air and diminishing the air quality for us. So it has been, in my opinion, the best robot vacuum that we could have bought. I looked at a lot of reviews to find the best robot vacuum 2021, and I had not heard of the brand Eufy, but I looked it up and I was really, really pleased with it. So some of the things that it does, I actually press play and the vacuum just starts doing what it's going to do. 
and I spend a little bit more of my time actually pulling out furniture so that the vacuum can get into all of the spots. Whereas if I'm doing the vacuuming myself, I feel like I just vacuum around things. So I do feel like it gets things cleaner. Um, the vacuum goes for about, I would say a half an hour and then it runs out of batteries usually and it actually just returns to the base itself. Um, if you want to, you can also set it down say like close to the litter box where there's a lot of litter and you press the spot cleaning button and it just circles around in different size circles for about two minutes picking things up. Um, I have found it to be invaluable. It's saving me about 20 minutes every single morning. Um, there haven't really been any cons. The only thing that I thought was a little bit of a negative about the vacuum is that the app is not actually a remote control. Um, there are certain times like for spot cleaning where it would be nice if I didn't have to pick it up and I could actually just use the remote control to send it where I wanted to send it. It's not a super big deal, but that would be an easy thing. Um, the other thing that I found to be a little bit problematic is that there's a little brush included that's supposed to work for smaller areas and like right into the wall. That brush seems to always be getting caught on things and coming off so I often don't use it um, those are really the only two negatives that I've found um, I do have to always make sure to pick up the water dish that's in the kitchen because obviously vacuums and water are not a good idea and I think that that would form a lot of mold inside my vacuum which is the last thing that I want I personally think that this is the best robot vacuum for dog hair. I will say that if you have a dog that is just dropping a ton of hair, like a Labrador Retriever, you might find yourself sort of like picking up, um, and let me just show you how big this, let's see. So if you want to open it, it's a really easy process. If I can actually find where, where it is. Um, you just press down on a little lever and this is the container that I think it probably has cat hair in it now. Um, so you might find yourself emptying that a little bit more if you have a larger size pet. Um, but that said, I think that this vacuum was an amazing investment. Um, they were having a sale. So I think I paid about $260 for it. It was usually, I think about $300, so it was on sale. Um, it was an absolutely great investment. The animals don't mind it too much, and I actually feel like it gives the cat a little bit of exercise. Um, he likes to follow it around and kind of see what it's doing. Occasionally, he catches it with his paws. Um, I don't think that's necessarily going to be everybody's um, or every cat's reaction to the vacuum, but at least my cat is fearless and he has been going after the vacuum. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this robot vacuum review. I just wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about buying for years and I wasn't really sure if it would be a waste or if it would work well. Um, I'm still pulling out my other vacuum to get cat hair off furniture and things like that, but this has done an amazingly great job. And since I do vacuum basically every day of the week, it is saving me about an hour and a half every single week just not using my regular vacuum, which hopefully I'll be using to make videos soon. So let me know what you guys think. Have you thought about getting a robot vacuum before? Do you have one already? Um, do you think that your Yorkshire Terriers would be afraid of it? I'm so curious what you guys think. Um, hope you guys are well and stay healthy and beautiful, and I will be back with more videos soon. See you guys later. Bye.